now let us describe a segment a ray and a line as set of points line segment the union set of point a point b and points between a and b is called segment ab segment ab is written as segment ab in short segment ab also means segment ba point a and point b are called the end points of segment ab the distance between the end points of a segment is called the length of the segment that is length of ab equal to distance of ab length of ab is if the length of ab is 5 it is also written as ab equal to 5 ray ab suppose a and b are two different points the union set of all points on segment ab and the points p such that b is in between a and p is called ray ab here point a is called the starting point or origin of ray ab line a line is a one dimensional figure which has a length but no width a line is made of a set of points that is extended in opposite directions infinitely it is determined by two points in a two dimensional plane the two points which lie on the same line are said to be collinear points a line is denoted with two letters or with a small letter any small alphabet it can be denoted in this way l m n any letter can be used here but it should be written in small letter congruent segments if the length of two segments is equal then the two segments are congruent if length of ab equal to length of cd then segment ab is congruent to segment cd properties of congruent segments the three properties of congruent segments are reflexivity symmetry and transitivity what is reflexivity segment ab congruent to segment ab that is every segment will be congruent to itself second symmetry if segment ab is congruent to cd then segment cd will be congruent to ab that is if one segment is congruent to another one then the second one will be congruent to first one also that is called as symmetry next transitivity if segment ab is congruent to segment cd and segment cd is congruent to segment ef then segment ab congruent to segment ef that is if one segment is congruent to the second one and the second one is congruent to a third one then the first and the third will be congruent to each other midpoint of a segment if m is in between a and b and segment am equal to segment ma mb then m is called the midpoint of segment ab every segment has one and only one midpoint so that is an important seg important point given here every segment has one and only one midpoint so you can see the distance of am and mb should be congruent only then m is called as the midpoint comparison of segments if the length of segment ab is less than the length of segment cd it is written as segment ab less than segment cd or segment cd greater than segment ab the comparison of segments depends upon their lengths so how do we compare two segments based on their length if this is smaller than this one that is cd then ab is less than cd or cd is greater than ab next topic what we are going to learn is perpendicularity of segments or rays if the lines containing two segments two rays or a ray and a segment are perpendicular to each other then the two segments two rays or the segment and the ray are said to be perpendicular to each other in the figure 
segment AB perpendicular to line CD. Segment AB perpendicular to ray CD. You can see a CD is perpendicular to AB and AB is perpendicular to CD. Distance of a point from a line. If segment CD is perpendicular to line AB and the point D lies on AB, then length of segment CD is called distance of point C from line AB. The point D is called the foot of the perpendicular. If line CD equal to A, then the point C is at a distance of A from the line AB.